Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Blake here and today we're going to be talking about setting up and accepting credit card payments with a tool called PayFunnels. Whether you're a coach, consultant, a small business owner, an agency, or anybody that accepts credit card payments over the phone and speaks to clients, this tool will be a lifesaver for you. So today I'm going to be walking you through briefly the setup process behind it, how to utilize this tool, and what other tools you'll need in conjunction with this to make this work. So with that said, let's dive right in. So first and foremost, PayFunnels right here on this first screen I'm showing you. You can sign up in the link in the description below for a free trial of this tool. This is my preferred invoicing tool that I'm going to be walking you through today due to the fact that it's super fast, super fit, efficient, and super easy to utilize. So after you create your account with PayFunnels, the only other thing that you'll need is a Stripe account. And Stripe is going to be your payment processor. So this is what connects to PayFunnels to accept that payment itself and then it takes that money and pushes that money into your business bank account. So basically, to sum it down, you'll re really need three things. A PayFunnels account, a Stripe account, which is free, and a business bank account. After you have your Stripe account set up and you go and create your PayFunnels account, all you'll need to do is basically, number one, it'll walk you through in the settings to connect your Stripe account. So it's going to ask for you to input a couple fields. And once you get that connected, you are ready to roll. And the nice thing about this tool is it also has a really user-friendly mobile app to make invoices really quickly on the fly, which I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do that now. So whether it be on the mobile app or on desktop, the interface looks pretty much identical. Um, and it's very, very simple across the board. So all you're doing is number one, clicking new invoice, and you'll be taken to this screen here. From here, you're going to input just the name of the product or service and a brief description of it. So let's say you're on the phone with a client and you're talking about your 12 week coaching program. And let's say it's $800 a month over three payments. And they decide to jump in on that payment plan. So you can say 12 week coaching program, installment plan, And you can put it again here. We'll just copy this over. 12 week coaching program installment plan, 800 by three payments, equaling 2,400 total. Once that's in place, you're basically ready to go. So now you go to the next field and you have to decide okay, since this is a payment plan, it's going to be a reoccurring charge. You have the option to do a one time payment or a reoccurring charge. So if you were doing let's say a 3K payment in full, you could put in 3,000 here and you're ready to roll. But in this example, I'm walking you through here, we're doing a three month payment plan so I can show you how to go about setting this up. So you're just going to input 800. You're going to go, actually we're gonna go reoccurring here. So we have reoccurring selected. You're charging 800 per payment. How often do you want this payment to reoccur? Daily, weekly, bi-weekly? monthly or yearly. It's really nice that they have all those options there for you. In this example, as I said, we're doing a monthly plan. So we're going to select monthly. And the last thing you'll have to do is determine, okay, when do you want these payments to end? When do you want it to stop charging the card on file? So from here, you're going to put in end after three payments. If you wanted to have, if you had a trial period, if it was a software, you could put in a trial period. Um, setup fees, etc. If you charge tax, you can input that there. If you choose to do like zip code verification, you have the option to add that. If you want the billing address to be added to the invoice, you can do so as well. There's options there. The really nice thing is too, if you're a coach and let's say after onboarding a new client and they had that first payment in and you send them to an onboarding page to fill out information about themselves or their business, whatever it may be, whatever service you offer, you can add in a redirect link. So after they process that payment, if you sent them that link, it will take them there directly to do so. Or if you have a thank you page, etc. So you can add your redirect link here. And then lastly, you can select a theme. So you can change the color of the layout. Um, I'm just gonna leave it at the standard purple color that is the PayFunnels brand, but you have the option to change it to black, blue, green, whatever option you choose there. 
And then lastly, if you want to add a coupon code, you can do so here. So after that set, really all you need is the title, the description, and the amount. Once that's in place, you click save invoice. And now you're ready to accept payments with this invoice. So it's going to grab you a, a short link that it's going to display right after you set up that invoice. And let's say you are speaking to someone over Facebook Messenger and you've already had a phone call with them and they want to jump into your program or whatever it is that you're offering. You can create this invoice on the go really quickly with a mobile app, drop them this quick link once they give you the go ahead. And all you have to do is copy it, paste it and send it to them. And when you do send it to them, it will look like this. Nice, clean, professional invoice showing secure payments. It's going to state that it's monthly reoccurring for a total of three payments with the amount specified. And then from there, all they have to do is put in their name, email, card number, expiration date and security code, click subscribe, and it is good to go. Outside of that, let's say you are on the phone with a potential client. You speak to him, you learn about him, and they decide, you know what, they wanna jump into your program because they feel that your, your service can benefit them and they agree to jump in right away. They wanna jump in and make that payment right on that call itself. You can quickly, in a matter of 30 seconds, make one of these invoices, pull up the link yourself, and plug in that payment on your end. So you can ask them for their name, their email, and their card number, plug in that, the monthly expiration date, as well as the security code, click subscribe, and just like it would be if you were to send it to them, you can accept the payment that way. So it's super, super easy and beneficial to utilize this tool, especially if you're doing monthly recurring plans, because before finding this, I was utilizing Stripe to accept payments over the phone, which is nice for one-time payments, but once you get into subscriptions, it's a little bit trickier to set up reoccurring plans on the fly with Stripe. This tool takes away that headache and it makes things super, super easy to utilize and take advantage of. So with that said, that's a wrap for this video. Again, the link will be in the description for PayFunnels below if you wanna check it out and grab the free trial. And with that said, I'll see you on the next video.